What if I told you there's a version of Minecraft that watches your every move? A version completely forgotten about? Well, as I'm scrolling through my comment section, my eye catches onto one. <clears throat> not that one. You see, the comment mentioned a version of Minecraft called Alpha 0.0.0, which I wasn't too familiar with. Although, with Halloween just around the corner, I got curious. What was this version, and could I find out more? I opened a new tab and got searching, only to be greeted by a forum page describing the creation as a pure act of cruelty. But I wondered, when did it first appear? It turns out the first trace of the download comes from a Russian pirating website, labelled as a free version of Minecraft that anyone could play, and to a degree, they weren't wrong. But as quickly as the downloads came in, so did they slow down. The comments started disappearing, and not too soon after, the original download slipped out of existence. However, if you thought this would be the end of this version, you'd be wrong, because Alpha lived on the internet, circulating through the hands of those who had originally hit download. But more about that later, because after I scrolled and searched page after page, I had finally found it, a safe version of Alpha with no weird or harmful viruses hiding behind its blocks. I hit download and waited for the game to load, without realising I had just fallen down a massive rabbit hole. You see, the opening menu was definitely weird, but not in a scary way. The wholesome Minecraft backgrounds that I'd grown to love was replaced with bedrock. Was this even the right version people were talking about? There was only one way to find out. I clicked through and generated a world, and as it loaded, I wondered to myself, how far into the game would I make it? Alright, okay, so we've got a desert biome? I guess I'm gonna go this way. Alright, I haven't been walking along, but nothing much has gone on so far. I'll keep you guys updated. At this point, spawning in a desert biome is pretty normal, and so is exploring the new world you've just been placed in. But what happened next was a little weird. A message popped up on screen in the same way playing a music disc would. But yet, there was still no music or sound in game. Okay, so it's been like not even 30 seconds, and I don't know if you can see that structure over there. See, it only renders when I look away from it. I'm gonna make my way over there because maybe it leads to something. Now, while I make my way over to the weird structure, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Uh oh, something's about to happen. What is this? Okay, I've been walking for about five minutes now. This isn't Minecraft anymore, this is Walking Simulator. Die, 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 die. Did I walk all the way here? for just the science. Is this, is this it? I understood what I'd got myself into. A version of Minecraft that clearly wanted to kill me, but hadn't tried yet. And whether it was going to was a question that would be left unanswered. Whoa, whoa. Wait, what do these ones say? Uh, I will change your fate for the worst. Die. Feels like the closer we get to these towers, it, the messages get weirder. I had this constant feeling I was close to something, as if whatever it was, was watching me, waiting for me to slip up somehow, somewhere. But I had to know more. How far could I go with this? Alright, so bedrock pillars up ahead and redstone torches. What the... What is that? You guys see that? Where'd he go? And there it was. The feeling of being finally watched had revealed itself. The weird entity hiding behind a tree to only disappear seconds later. Hoping that it would appear again, I kept moving. Hopefully it pops back up again. For now, we need to make sure we can get all the way up there. But first, I need some blocks. A lot of them. You see, I would have to mine quickly, because night was setting in fast and I definitely wasn't alone. This was my last chance at surviving, and if I did it right, I could try and get a better look at this thing once and for all. Now, I'm really hoping that I've mined enough blocks. Either way, we're about to find out, because, yeah, we've got to climb this thing. And as I scaled this bedrock tower, I couldn't stop thinking about how this entity had just popped up out of the blue. It reminded me of a Minecraft legend. You see, Herobrine's first appearance wasn't any different, appearing out of the blue in an alpha version not too far from the one I was actually playing on. But what connected the two for me was the fact it disappeared. Even watching back on the original sighting of Herobrine, there was a massive similarity. So was the version I was playing on simply a Herobrine simulator? I really had my doubts about this theory, but it made sense considering what I'd seen. So I had a decision to make. How far did I really want to go into this? Did I want to stop now or keep playing? I felt like I'd seen it all anyways, but if there was anything else out there, it was only a matter of playing just that little bit more. Okay, so I've been playing for about 10 minutes now. I got some stuff together and uh, here we are. And hey, what do you know? It didn't take long for me to find something new. All right, this doesn't feel very Herobrine, but um, there's even some over there. I can't even imagine this doing anything. This is kind of just sitting here. You see, I had some unfinished business that needed answers. Like, what was at the top of these towers? Were they actually leading me towards something? It was time to finally find out. Okay, we're pretty close. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
He's getting ridiculously close. And the worst part is I can't even chase him because I can't sprint in this version. I guess looking back at it now, the closer I got to the tower, the closer the entity got to me. Okay, only a couple more now. Alright, we're up. Okay, so did these signposts actually say anything? That one doesn't, and I can't make that one out, so... I guess there's nothing else up here, but hey, look at this view. However, things were about to turn real weird. Alright, I'm thinking about jumping. There's a pool of water right here, but I don't think I'll make it. Wait, did he just pop up again? He's jumping as if he's trying to get my attention. Oh, and he's gone again. And this wouldn't be the last. The entity kept popping up. Oh, there he is. And he's gone again. Time after time, without getting a single inch closer. Oh, there he is again. I almost didn't see him. Oh, and there he is waiting for me again. It felt as if he, or whatever it was, wanted to keep a steady eye on me making sure I didn't mess up the world it lived in. In fact, even when looking back on footage, it had even shown up when I wasn't paying attention. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves, because almost immediately after the entity disappeared, this happened. Whoa, I don't- I can't tell if this is a bug or if the entity did this. How do I make this stop? Was this the entity's way of trying to get me off the game? Either way, by leaving the world and rejoining it, it seemed to have fixed the day and night flashing. Ah, there we go. I think the flashing- oh yep, the flashing's definitely gone now. Although, with all these smaller distractions, I still wanted to know if the bedrock pillars truly led to something, or if it was simply a way for the entity to keep the players busy, distracting them from whatever it was trying to hide. Well, that was when I started walking. I might be foolish for this and totally falling for it, but I'm going to walk over to the next bedrock pillars and see if it actually eventually leads to something. I feel I feel like I could be doing this forever, so if nothing happens at the next pillar, I'll just leave it all for good. Oh, wait, hold on, music's playing. Normally this means he's around somewhere. I had my suspicions on what triggered the entity to appear, such as the music being a warning sign, the pillars almost being a measurement of how far we truly were from whatever it was hiding. Alright, so this is the last pillar, and if there isn't anything crazy popping up, then I'm, I'm done. Well, that's it. I guess there's nothing crazy going on. I guess playing and quitting the game wasn't something I was going to decide on after all. I felt as if Alpha 0.0.0 .0 had truly reached its end anyway. I did some extra digging and found out this version of the game was the first to start them all. So I could only wonder, how many more versions were out there for me to explore? And how hard would they be for me to get my hands on? I guess we'll have to find out. But there's one serious problem. You probably want to watch another video, a spooky one to say the least. But don't worry, I have that problem solved. I handpicked this video just for you.